A look back. Spring 2006. She was already the first non-French woman to receive the French Fashion Presses Award. Now on the 20th anniversary of her brand, she again wins the eagerly sought after award for the best complete collection. 20 years. Always something different. Always something surprising. And for the designer herself, even after all those years, it's still exciting. Now for me, that's really another beautiful moment. When I saw that, I was really moved. That's wonderful. Miranda doesn't think about target markets. She thinks about moments. Every woman should be able to find a favorite piece of jewelry for every single situation and for every occasion. She wants to bring out each woman's many facets and advocates a deep self-confidence that goes beyond the typical roles and cliches. This is also true for her employees. As she puts it, we're a woman's company. I don't have anything against men, but I just think that men should work with men and women with women. We speak different languages, see the world differently. A table of men and a table of women will have different conversations, and it's the same at work. Women look at a job they have to do as if it were their baby. Cebu, the second largest city in the Philippines and the island nation's economic center. Here is where Conplot jewelry is made. From the lobby to the conference table, the women wield the power. Having jobs with Conplot means that the Filipino women are also the ones who are in charge at home. They're the ones who bring in the main income for the family. They're the ones who take care of their parents. They're the ones who take out insurance for their parents and their children. They're independent. They don't have to marry. Miranda Constantinidou can be summarized in one word, freedom. A word that has accompanied and shaped her entire life. An attitude towards life that she has passed on to the women who work for her. Despite all the resistance she's faced, giving up was never an option. Her dream of giving women the power in her own company at least has been fulfilled. Whether in manufacture or administration, every employee has the job that she can do best. I find it quite emancipated in a Catholic country. I was sometimes afraid that I'd be found dead somewhere because some guy killed me on the side. <laughs> But I thought, oh well. <laughs> the idea of a woman's company was successful. Today, Conplot sells its jewelry in more than 800 shops, among them 40 of its own stores, in world-class cities such as Madrid, Berlin, Shanghai, and of course, Paris. Here in the Rue Pierre Charon, one of the most exclusive shopping streets in the world. It's just before closing. Miranda manages to drop by just in time. She meets the people who embody her philosophy. A very special moment. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Things have come full circle again. Once more, new collections are ready to be discovered. The store is so beautiful, and finally I get to see my creations brought together, beautifully arranged by color and with the right lighting. That's so different than when I'm designing them. She is one step closer to her dream, to make the world sparkle. That's what Conplot Miranda Constantinidou stands for.